The birth of twin foals from Pearl, the one-eyed mare, was a rare and astonishing event that defied the odds, typically, the chances of a horse giving birth to live twins are incredibly slim, with risks to both the mother and the foals, however, against all expectations, both foals, named Snip and Drip, not only survived but thrived after their birth, Kevin Spurs, the stud breeder, was stunned by the miraculous arrival of the twin foals, given the rarity of such an occurrence and the inherent risks involved, it was a moment of both wonder and concern, the twins required round-the-clock care to ensure their well-being, and farmhand Nicole Kuffmuller stepped up to the task, providing them with the necessary antibiotics and attention. Despite the joy of witnessing the birth of the twin foals, there was also a somber realization that their survival was far from guaranteed. Historically, twin foals often face complications during pregnancy, birth, or shortly thereafter, with a high likelihood of one or both foals not reaching adulthood. In Pearl's case, her remarkable feat of giving birth to healthy twin foals served as a testament to her resilience and the dedicated care provided by the farm staff. It was a bittersweet moment, filled with hope for the future of Snip and Drip, yet tempered by the awareness of the challenges that lay ahead every morning. Experienced veterinarian John Maxwell begins his day at either 6 a.m. or 8 a.m., a routine he's maintained for over 50 years. In all his years of treating horses, he had never encountered a mare giving birth to twins who both survived past the critical few weeks, Pearl and her twin foals, Snip and Drip, were nothing short of a miracle in his eyes, defying the odds stacked against them. Twin foals, due to their rarity and delicate nature, require meticulous care and attention, especially during their early days, because they are smaller at birth. They need extra nourishment and vigilant monitoring to ensure they catch up in size and avoid potential complications. The first few weeks of their lives are crucial, and fortunately, Pearl, Snip, and Drip all surpass the critical two-week milestone with flying colors. Dr. Maxwell, with his wealth of experience, expressed his surprise at the successful delivery of live twin foals, something he had never encountered in his lengthy career. Typically, in such cases, one of the fetuses would be aborted due to the high mortality risks involved, however, Pearl's extraordinary feat left him amazed and grateful to witness such an exceptional occurrence. Despite the challenges posed by the twins' arrival, including the high costs of veterinary care, the dedicated team, led by Mr. Spurs, spared no effort in ensuring the well-being of Pearl and her foals, even Pearl with her own physical challenge of missing an eye due to a past accident. Stood strong as a testament to resilience in the face of adversity, the journey of Pearl, Snip, and Drip is a story of hope, perseverance, and the remarkable bond between humans and animals, against all odds, they triumphed, proving that miracles can indeed happen, even in the most unexpected of circumstances, Mr. Spurs and his farmhand, Nicole Kuntmuller have been tirelessly providing round-the-clock care to ensure that Pearl does not accidentally harm the foals, among their many tasks. They have been assisting with feeding the twins every two hours, even during the night shifts, Miss Kuntmuller described. Their routine, saying, we get out here, and they're already waiting and know the routine, additionally, they administer antibiotics to the foals twice a day to ensure their health, occasionally, they provide an extra milk bucket to ensure that the twins receive enough nourishment, as they are still unsure of how much milk Pearl can produce for them. While most Maras form a strong bond with their foals immediately after birth, this isn't always the case. Some Maras may reject or abandon their offspring, which requires careful attention. Typically, Maras bond with their foals as soon as they are born, while they are still covered in amniotic fluid, the mare spends time sniffing the fluid and showing signs of recognition, such as curling her upper lip. This process involves a combination of sight, smell, and sound, allowing the mare to recognize and accept her newborn, however. Not all maras are able to bond with their foals in this way, some may exhibit avoidance behavior, refuse to nurse the foal, or even display aggression towards it, 
This can be problematic, especially if the foal is deprived of the crucial colostrum, which is essential for jumpstarting the foal's immune system. Therefore, it's essential to closely monitor the bonding process between mare and foal and intervene if necessary to ensure the health and well-being of the newborn. The journey towards health and strength for the abandoned foal had a challenging beginning, but the couple remained steadfast in their commitment to care for him, dreaming of the day when he would walk freely on his own, eventually, they arranged for him to be taken to the heart of Phoenix Horse Rescue Center, where he could receive the specialized attention needed to thrive, although separated from the couple for now, they are actively fundraising to support the horse's rehabilitation, with the ultimate goal of providing him with a forever home. Instances of full rejection by Mares may be rare, but they do occur, it's a phenomenon that remains largely unexplained, but fortunately, compassionate individuals like this couple are willing to go to great lengths, even scaling mountains and cradling baby horses in their arms, to ensure their well-being and freedom. Meanwhile, in another surprising tale, the discovery of a two-year-old stud colt's capability to breed led to unexpected consequences, the couple had kept the Mares separated. Assuming they had everything under control, however, one snowy morning, they were greeted by the sight of a new filly in the barn, with no sign of a placenta, despite initial confusion, they soon realized that the mare had carried a triplet pregnancy to full term, with the stillborn fetuses discovered the next morning, this rare occurrence highlighted the challenges and risks associated with multiple births in Mares, who are typically built to carry single pregnancies. Running out of room and experiencing multiple birth pregnancies is a rarity among horses, multiple. Ovulations occur in only 9% of quarter horse mares, but at a higher rate of 19% in thoroughbred mares, the occurrence of these pregnancies carrying multiple fetuses to full term is exceptionally low, with very few cases reported. In fact, no one I had spoken to had ever heard of triplet pregnancies, let alone one carry to full term, however, this mare defied the odds. One fetus was the size of an early second trimester, while the other was the size of a 300-day fetus. Miraculously, the live filly was born normal and healthy, a true testament to the marvels of nature. The scene of a pregnant mare giving birth in the middle of the road shocked pedestrians, even in places like Popeyan, Colombia where the use of horses for labor and transport is still common, passers-by were taken aback, reacting in various ways, some captured the unbelievable scene on camera. While others rushed to assist the mare during labor, there were also those who confronted the horses. Owner, questioning why he would allow his heavily pregnant horse to work under such conditions, when the story made local news headlines, it sparked outrage among the community, while the mistreatment of the horse was evident, the owner defended himself, claiming that his family's livelihood depended on the animal, despite the backlash, he argued that he couldn't afford to take a day off. Even though he was aware that his horse was expecting a foal at any moment, the video of the pregnant mare giving birth in the street has garnered over 60,000 views. Sparking widespread public outcry and calls for the owner to be charged with animal cruelty, while some individuals may sympathize with the owner's personal struggles, the overwhelming majority find his actions unacceptable, regardless of his circumstances. Amidst the global pandemic, many people are facing financial challenges, however, this does not justify the mistreatment of animals. Workhorses have historically been utilized as traditional tools, but their necessity has diminished in many. Regions, for instance, in areas of Indonesia with rice fields, water buffaloes are still employed for tilling the soil due to a lack of alternative tools, nevertheless, numerous cities, including Bogota and Medellin in Colombia, have banned the use of animals for transportation, recognizing that there are viable alternatives available animal ethics. Org advocates for the adoption of alternative modes of transportation, emphasizing the importance of ending the exploitation of animals for this purpose in medellin colombia 
cargo bikes were introduced as substitutes for horses previously used to collect debris, similar substitutions can be implemented globally, promoting a shift towards a society where animals are not exploited for labor or transportation. Papian's health secretary, Oscar Espina, took prompt action after numerous civilians contacted local authorities to report the distressing ordeal, assuring the public, he declared that the mare and her newborn foal would never have to endure labor again, both horses were rescued and safeguarded from further abuse by the current owner or any others, Espina emphasized his belief that animals should not be exploited for labor and highlighted the prevalence of illegal use of work animals, despite the requirement for permits following their rescue, the mare and foal underwent thorough medical examination and care, resulting in a full recovery. Fortunately, the foal was born without any complications or injuries, despite the challenging circumstances, Espina hopes that this incident will expedite the necessary changes in animal regulations within Poppy and contribute to the broader goal of eliminating animal exploitation nationwide and eventually globally. Meanwhile, in May 2014, students at the College of Veterinary Medicine at Oregon State University witnessed a rare miracle. The birth of twin foals named Mocha and Cappuccino, Dr. John Schlipp, with 30 years of experience, expressed astonishment, stating that it was only the second time he had encountered live twin foals, according to Animal Center Org, the likelihood of twin foals being born alive is 1 in 10,000, with a 1 in 15,000 chance of survival in the first two weeks, despite initial nursing difficulties, the veterinary hospital provided the twins with plasma, antibiotics, and tender loving care ensuring their well-being. During the externship, students from the community college's veterinary technical program provided round-the-clock care and feeding for the foals. At just one week old, Cappuccino already displayed an adventurous and frisky nature, embodying the spirit of a spirited foal. Meanwhile, Mocha, the smaller twin, received treatment for angular limb deformity. Despite this condition, his prognosis was positive and he even showed signs of attempting to run, Dr. Trina Westerman expressed confidence in Mocha's recovery, stating that although he would always be smaller, with proper bandaging, he should develop normal limbs. The journey from conception to foaling is filled with uncertainties and challenges, often regarded as a wonder given the many potential complications, some mares may become pregnant only to absorb the fetus early on, while others faced the risk of abortion around the four to six month mark due to factors such as insufficient progesterone or diseases like Eastern or Western encephalitis. Despite the risks, veterinarians can provide more specific information and guidance tailored to individual cases addressing concerns about the safety of riding horses during pregnancy, it's important to note that the fetus is protected by amniotic fluid and is thus less susceptible to injury in the event of a fall, analogously, like a goldfish in a plastic bag filled with water, the fetus remains shielded from harm unless there is a significant rupture or impact. Therefore, while caution is warranted, riding a horse during pregnancy does not inherently endanger them fetus, provided proper precautions are taken to ensure the safety of both the mother and the unborn foal, indeed, many horses are not accustomed to specific handling techniques, making it challenging to predict their reactions accurately, factors such as how they are touched play a significant role, as some horses may find a light touch annoying while others tolerate more vigorous padding. It's crucial to recognize that no horse enjoys being slapped, despite the common sight of riders patting them, however, unless the pregnant woman possesses extensive experience and rides regularly, engaging in horseback riding while pregnant would be ill-advised, based on your inquiries, it seems that you and the expectant mother are considering a vacation that may involve horseback riding, in such a scenario, it is strongly recommended that she refrains from riding and instead follows the guidance provided by her physician. Prioritizing her health and the well-being of the unborn child should be paramount, and any activities posing potential risks should be avoided during pregnancy. After watching this story, 
how do you feel, then there is another story about a horse, let's expect what will happen, for more captivating stories, be sure to tune into our channel, story time, you can find the link in the description and pinned in the first comment, as the young girl approached the horse, something stirred deep within the animal, setting off a chain reaction of chaos and confusion, the once, Serene creature now thrashed and bucked, its agitation palpable to all who witnessed the spectacle, the owner, Matthew, stood bewildered, struggling to comprehend what had triggered this sudden frenzy. Matthew had been preoccupied, focused on Phantom's upcoming race, oblivious to the presence of the young woman in the vicinity, little did he know that her mere presence would unravel his horse's composure in such a dramatic fashion. Phantom, typically composed and unperturbed by the hustle and bustle of race day preparations, seemed to undergo a profound transformation, his demeanor shifted inexplicably, setting off a series of startling events that left onlookers stunned. At first, Phantom's behavior manifested as erratic movements, sending bystanders scurrying to safety, the air crackled with tension as other horses nearby picked up on Phantom's distress their unease mirroring his own. As the commotion escalated, it became apparent that the source of Phantom's agitation lay with the young girl, her presence seemed to trigger an instinctual reaction in the horse, igniting a storm of frenzied activity. Despite Matthew's efforts to calm his prized racehorse, Phantom showed no signs of relenting. Instead, he charged recklessly around the pen his thunderous hooves pounding against the earth in a wild display of defiance. In a final act of desperation, Phantom hurled himself towards a nearby gate with alarming force. His determination matched only by the sheer magnitude of his panic. As the tumultuous scene unfolded, a hushed silence fell over the crowd, all eyes fixed on the unfolding drama, it was as if time stood still, every heartbeat echoing the anticipation of what would happen next, and then, in a decisive moment, the young girl took a bold step forward, as if beckoning fate to reveal its hand, for Matthew, the sight was heart-stopping, he watched in disbelief as his prized horse, Phantom, defied all odds, leaping over the towering fence with an agility that defied reason, it was a feat that left Matthew reeling, his mind grappling with the implications of what he had just witnessed, the gravity of the situation weighed heavily on Matthew's shoulders, with Phantom hurtling towards the young girl at breakneck speed, fear gnawed at his insides, he could only watch helplessly, his heart lodged firmly in his throat, as the events unfolded with alarming swiftness. As Phantom closed the distance between them, Matthew braced himself for the worst. His thoughts consumed by the safety of the young girl, it was a moment fraught with tension, every second stretching into eternity as the inevitable collision seemed imminent, but then, in a stunning turn of events, Phantom came to a sudden halt beside the girl, his frenzied energy giving way to an unexpected calm, it was a moment of surreal stillness, as if time itself had paused to take stock of the extraordinary scene unfolding before it, to Matthew's astonishment. The young girl climbed onto Phantom's back with effortless grace, the two of them forming an unlikely alliance in the midst of chaos, together, they galloped away from the chaos of the preparation area, their movements a testament to the unspoken bond that existed between them as they disappeared into the distance, Matthew could only marvel at the inexplicable connection that had forged between horse and rider, it was a moment that defied logic. A testament to the extraordinary power of trust and companionship that transcended the boundaries of human understanding and this phantom and the young girl vanished from sight matthew couldn't help but wonder at the mysteries of the universe and the remarkable journey that lay ahead for them both matthew stood frozen in disbelief his mind racing to comprehend the chaos that had just unfolded before his eyes as the realization sank in he found himself grappling with a torrent of emotions, each more bewildering than the last, in the distance. The echoes of screams mingled with the frantic pounding of hooves, a cacophony of panic. That reverberated through the air, it was a scene straight out of a nightmare, every moment etched in his memory with startling clarity, with trembling hands, Matthew reached for his phone, 
his fingers fumbling over the keypad as he dialed the number for the police, desperation clawed at his throat as he struggled to articulate the gravity of the situation to the dispatcher on the other end of the line. As he recounted the events that had transpired, Matthew's voice trembled with urgency, each word a desperate plea for assistance, he knew that time was of the essence, that every second lost brought Phantom and the young woman one step closer to danger, the dispatcher listened intently, her voice a calm anchor amidst the chaos that threatened to engulf them all, she assured Matthew that help was on the way, her words a lifeline in the midst of uncertainty, meanwhile, the police sprang into action, mobilizing their forces to track down the elusive pair, with each passing moment, the urgency of the situation mounted, every tip and sighting a glimmer of hope in the darkness that threatened to consume them and so, against the backdrop of chaos and confusion, a race against time began, with Phantom and the young woman still at large, the fate of the entire town hung in the balance, but amidst the turmoil, one thing remained clear, they would not rest until they had brought Phantom and his mysterious rider to safety, as officers scrambled to decipher Phantom's enigmatic journey. The perplexing puzzle only deepened, with each stride, the horse seemed to press forward with purpose, his hooves pounding a relentless rhythm against the pavement as he carried the young woman on his back, despite the chaos that trailed in their wake, Phantom remained undeterred, his course unwavering as he surged onward through the heart of the city, it was a spectacle that left onlookers in awe. Their gazes transfixed on the unlikely duo as they blazed a trail towards the distant suburbs but, amidst the flurry of activity, one question loomed large, how did Phantom know where to go, it was a mystery that baffled even the most seasoned officers, their efforts to track the horse's movements thwarted at every turn, as sightings dwindled and leads grew scarce, the search for Phantom and his mysterious rider entered a state of limbo, despite their best efforts, the pair had seemingly vanished into thin air, leaving investigators grasping at straws in their quest for answers undeterred by. The daunting task ahead, officers doubled down on their efforts, scouring every corner of the city in search of clues, from the bustling streets to the quiet corners of the racing area, they left no stone unturned in their pursuit of the truth and so, as the sun dipped below the horizon and darkness descended upon the city, Matthew and the police were left with more questions than answers, but amidst the uncertainty, one thing remained clear, they would not rest until they had unraveled the mystery of Phantom's inexplicable journey, the absence of Phantom in the scheduled races left a void that reverberated throughout the event, his empty stall served as a stark reminder of the unexpected turn of events, casting a shadow over what was meant to be a thrilling spectacle, for the betters who had pinned their hopes on Phantom's victory, his sudden disappearance spelled disappointment and frustration. Many had placed their bets with unwavering confidence, buoyed by Matthew's assurances. Of the horse's prowess on the track, now, faced with the reality of Phantom's absence, they found themselves grappling with the consequences of their misplaced trust, as Matthew returned to the area, he was met with a barrage of angry accusations and pointed fingers, betters vented their frustrations, casting doubt on his integrity and questioning his involvement in the unfolding chaos, but amidst the chaos and confusion, Matthew remained steadfast in his resolve to find Phantom, his focus. Unwavering despite the accusations hurled his way, despite his best efforts to glean information from the crowd, Matthew was met with shrugs and bewildered looks, the girl's sudden appearance and Phantom's subsequent flight had left many scratching their heads, unable to make sense of the bizarre turn of events, some even speculated that Matthew himself had orchestrated the whole ordeal. A notion that he found both ludicrous and insulting, but amidst the turmoil and speculation, Matthew remained resolute in his mission to bring Phantom home, though his reputation may have suffered a blow, his determination to reunite with his beloved horse remained unwavering, and as he embarked on his quest for answers, he knew that the truth, no matter how elusive, would eventually come to light as Matthew found himself amidst the tumult of the betting crowd, his hopes of gathering any useful information began to wane. 
The atmosphere was fraught with tension and suspicion, leaving him feeling increasingly disheartened, however, just when he thought all hope was lost, a chance encounter changed everything, a collision, sudden and forceful, sent Matthew tumbling to the ground, his thoughts scattered in the chaos of the moment, as he struggled to regain his bearings, a stranger extended a hand, offering assistance in his moment of need, grateful for the help, Matthew accepted the gesture, albeit with a sense of bewilderment at the unexpected turn of events as they stood upright once. More, Matthew felt a small object slip into his hand, the stranger's actions swift and deliberate, with a nod of acknowledgement, the mysterious figure disappeared into the crowd, leaving Matthew to ponder the significance of the clandestine exchange with the police officers preoccupied elsewhere, Matthew seized the opportunity to discreetly examine the object in his hand, a folded note, its contents shrouded in intrigue. With bated breath, he unfolded the paper, revealing a brief yet cryptic message, the words, hastily scrawled but undeniably urgent, sent a shiver down Matthew's spine, behind the stables in five minutes, don't bring the police, confusion mingled with apprehension as Matthew grappled with the implications of the mysterious summons, who was this stranger, and what did they want from him, with time ticking away, Matthew knew he had a decision to make, one that could potentially unravel the mysteries that had plagued him since the moment Phantom disappeared. With a sense of determination burning within him, Matthew resolved to pursue every avenue in his quest to unravel the mystery of Phantom's disappearance, as he made his way toward the nearest police officer, his mind raced with anticipation, fueled by the hope that this encounter would provide the breakthrough he so desperately sought, securing a moment of privacy with the officers, Matthew explained the need for a few discreet phone calls, a request met with reluctant acquiescence. With a flicker of hope igniting within him, Matthew scanned the bustling crowd, his gaze settling upon the familiar figure he sought, the man stood waiting, a silent sentinel amidst the chaos, signaling for Matthew to approach with a sense of urgency tempered by caution, obliging the silent directive, Matthew hastened toward him, his heart pounding with a mixture of apprehension and anticipation, behind the stables, hidden from prying eyes, Matthew found himself enveloped in a cloak of secrecy, the weight of expectation heavy upon him, yet, as the man began to speak, Matthew's hopes were swiftly tempered by a sobering reality, the encounter, it seemed, was a chance occurrence, a fleeting moment of happenstance that offered little insight into the enigma surrounding Phantom's disappearance, though disappointed by the lack of immediate answers, Matthew listened intently as the man recounted his encounter with the young girl as the man shared details of their brief interaction. Matthew's mind whirled with the implications of his words, though the revelation brought no clarity to the situation at hand, it offered a glimmer of hope, a thread to be followed in the intricate tapestry of the investigation, yet, even as Matthew absorbed this newfound information, the man's reluctance to involve the authorities cast a shadow of doubt over their exchange, with each passing moment, the complexities of the situation grew, leaving Matthew to navigate a labyrinth of uncertainty in his quest for the truth, the man's reasons for steering clear of involvement in the case were clear, a desire to avoid undue stress and scrutiny, coupled with a reluctance to entangle himself in a web of police inquiries, with a solemn promise to protect the man's anonymity, Matthew received the crucial address, a beacon of hope in the murky depths of uncertainty racing back to the waiting officers, Matthew wasted no time in sharing the newfound lead, his heart buoyed by the prospect of finally uncovering Phantom's whereabouts, as the officers prepared to embark on this new leg of the investigation, Matthew's mind buzzed with anticipation, his thoughts consumed by the tantalizing possibility of a breakthrough with the address in hand, the police team set off, their destination lying just beyond the city limits, a half-hour journey into the unknown, as they neared the designated location, a sense of apprehension mingled with hope, casting a pall over the otherwise tranquil landscape upon arrival, however, their expectations were appended, a picturesque farm unfurled before them, 
its idyllic surroundings belying the mysteries hidden within, gazing out at the verdant fields and graceful horses, Matthew felt a surge of disbelief, could this truly be the place they sought, stepping onto the pristine grounds, Matthew and the officers braced themselves for the daunting task ahead, knowing that their quest for answers was far from over, with uncertainty looming on the horizon, they ventured forth, determined to unravel the truth hidden within the tranquil facade of the farm as Matthew and the officers ventured deeper into the farm, they were met with a bustling scene of activity, young individuals, likely in their twenties and dressed in attire befitting horse caretakers, moved purposefully about the grounds, amidst the flurry of movement, Matthew's keen eyes caught sight of the girl he had hoped to find, a spark of recognition igniting within him as they approached. The girl's expression mirrored Matthew's own surprise, though tempered with a resignation born of. Inevitability, sensing the futility of evasion, she stood her ground, awaiting their arrival alongside her companions with a rapid barrage of questions, Matthew and the officers sought answers from the girl, their inquiries punctuated by the arrival of an older couple from the main building, their demeanor, far from welcoming, bristled with hostility as they demanded to know the reason for the unexpected visit. In the ensuing chaos, tempers flared and voices clashed until, at last, a semblance of calm descended upon the group, seated around a nearby picnic table, they began to unravel the tangled threads of misunderstanding and miscommunication, it soon became apparent that the farm was no ordinary animal ranch, but rather a sanctuary for horses in need, the older couple, together with their children, dedicated themselves to caring for the animals, ensuring their comfort and well-being, in some cases, horses found new homes through adoption, a revelation that caught Matthew off guard. Shedding new light on the true nature of the farm, this story is a testament to the deep bonds that can form between humans and animals, as well as the complexities of human emotions and decisions, Phantom's journey from a racing horse to a beloved companion at the farm is both heartwarming and thought-provoking, Stacy's impulsive decision to ride off with Phantom may have seemed reckless, but it was fueled by her genuine affection for the horse and a desire to reunite him with the farm where he had once found solace, her honesty and remorse demonstrate her maturity in love for Phantom, qualities that resonate with anyone who has ever felt a strong connection with an animal. Matthew's eventual decision to forgive Stacy and reunite Phantom with her reflects a deep understanding of the bond between horse and caretaker, despite the missed profits and potential legal implications. He prioritizes the well-being and happiness of both Stacy and Phantom, ultimately choosing compassion over. Retribution Overall, this story highlights the power of love and redemption, showing that even in the face of mistakes and misunderstandings, genuine connections can prevail, it serves as a reminder of the importance of empathy, forgiveness, and second chances in our relationships with both humans and animals. The above is today's story, if you like it, please subscribe our channel and give it a thumbs up, see you next time.